are at Bricks and Many Things, we're gonna learn how to do marble mazes. Whoop. 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 Check this out. There are lots of resources online for marble mazes. We found some real quick and we'll post these examples as well, but you can start with an example um, and then build based on that. So you wanna start with a square base plate um, or if you feel in a challenge, do a rectangle or make your own shape. This can be accomplished with any variety of Lego pieces. So I'm just gonna sit and start uh, start making a maze. So let's go. I'm gonna give it a border here. I'm gonna try to maybe m copy this pattern right here. So you can use all kinds of um, any type of Lego pieces that you want. Um, random selection here. We're gonna go hmm, we'll jump out this direction. Um, the ball that we're trying to roll is can be a marble, or you can use a uh, Lego um, Technic ball, like a bionicle ball. Here, I'll show you one. Is this thing on? Okay. <laughs> Here's this is what a bionicle ball looks like. They use them in um, shooters. It's also the same size as the soccer ball and the basketball that they used in those cool sets back in the day. So this is the ball. Now you need at least two studs. Can you see that? You need at least two studs wide. So if it's three, then that's plenty of space. Um, and then right here, I'm gonna give it a little trick, a ramp right here. So we're gonna get creative. If ever you see make a block or non-Lego in your Lego, just, just, just throw it. Ooh, we're gonna use these later. I'm gonna make a ramp. So I'll save those. <laughs> Yellow, favorite. Uh, I seem to be using a lot of red. Um, I don't know if that's just my favorite color today or something. Yeah, ooh, this will be a fun one. I'm going to use that guy. Give it a little bouncy bounce. <laughs> We've got that. Now we're going to go. Ooh, yes. We're going to make it a tight corner around here. So I've got to get to the edge. Right there. And we'll go. Ooh, that's the piece I wanted right there. Are you doing a border? Oh uh, yeah, this one, I'm doing a border because this the edge of the page in this maze is actually a wall. Because it didn't print the black line around it. Oh, okay. That so, looks good. we're giving it a long tunnel here. Uh, that is going to be a trap. It's going to be a trap. See, we got a trap. So when my ball rolls down here, let's see if I can even get it to roll. If I accidentally roll past, I'm stuck. Game over. creative you don't even have to use bricks this is a technic beam I'm gonna use it like a wall I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna press it down real hard so that it sticks under the studs So you'll notice that you can have small gaps like this 
and the ball will not roll through. So if you don't have exactly the right length of piece, that's okay. You can leave a one, uh, one brick width gap and it will be just fine. Okay, and there we have it. Got a maze, and we're gonna try this out. So I'm gonna say this is my start, this is my finish. So here we go. See how good my skills are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we have a lesson learned. I uh, messed up, so guess what? This ball does not always fit through a two stud width, but it actually has flat spots, so if it goes a perfect way, it'll go through two studs, a two stud width. Otherwise, you really need three studs width, so we're gonna do a little modification. All right, so let's see, I've got, I have to change all my two stud widths. I'm gonna take this one. Over, I'm gonna get three, this is my two, so I'm gonna get that one over, get three, three, this one's, Okay, over. Three, three, three. This one's okay because it's a ramp, so there's actually enough, enough room to get through there. Uh, this one, though, I'm going to change my whole wall over here and, and get, I'm just scooting that real fast. We can cheat, right? We can decreate it, right? Not cheating. Mm. There we go. So now we got to do, let's get our finish line. Ready to go? All right. Score. Now let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go. Here at the start. Whoop. Oh, got a detour. There we go. Oh, can he make it? Woohoo! That was fun. So now we're going to talk about some challenges you can add to your maze. We're saying this is the finish, but if you take these off, that gives you a danger zone where you might just. See, now I get distracted adding other pieces. Um, you might just fall right off the edge. If I can find a piece here, block that, and block that. So there's a danger, there's a cliff. You might just fall off that cliff. Uh, so that's a, an added challenge. So you know, if you get too close to it, you don't wanna go off the edge and lose the game. You wanna make sure your maze has some dead ends to give you a challenge. So you get stuck in the dead end. Uh, you just kind of make a little uh, cul-de-sac, and then you have to find your way out of it. So then we talked about this challenge here, which is the trap. You go over the bump, then you're stuck. And you can't get out, it's game over. Okay, another trick we can do, come on in. Um, we've built this section right here, but we're gonna make it a blind section. So I'm gonna actually build this up a little taller and then put a plate right on top, so I can't see when the ball goes in to the building, I can't see where it's at. So let's see, we're gonna have to build it up. I'm gonna go up uh, at least, has to be at least two bricks tall. So go two, brick, two bricks tall on that. And. I'm gonna make sure your height is. So your width is compatible with the other bricks that you have down below. And we'll go so a couple bricks. Okay, now you can see that this is tall enough for the ball. And get some bricks on this side too. And then all you need is a few plates, and you can get it covered up. So let's see here. We'll go maybe. You guys. There we go. Okay. So all I know is I have an entrance right here. I have an exit over here, uh, but inside there's stuff going on and I don't know what's happening in there. But in order to get through the maze, I have to enter, go into the unknown, as they say. Whoa, I made it. So that's another cool trick. You can make yourself a blind maze where you can't see part of it. All right, we're gonna talk about some maze design because when you make a maze, you don't want it to be too easy. Uh, some of the things you want to consider are the difficulty that you want to make it. That's who's your audience? Is it going to be two-year-olds or is it going to be mom or dad? Oh. Then you want to make it really hard. 
Like, you could do this, but then you could cover the whole thing so they can't see anything inside there. That'd be fun. Uh, this is the one that we built here on our base plate. Um, it's got some of the things that you want to make sure you have. Long runs, some U-turns uh, where you go the wrong way, dead ends, always have dead ends. Um, you want to have some snakes, so you go zip, zip, zip around through the snakes. Uh, and then you want to have some wrong ways too. Uh, here's another example. This one's got a really good snake here. This gives you some good shoulder action when you're rolling it, yeah? And you go through here, um, a dead end here, and you want to make sure you've got a couple of, of good ideas there. Here's what not to do. All right, watch this. Ta-da! How's that for a maze? No, don't do this. Do, don't try this at home. Instead, try this at home. If you're do, building one for mom or dad, this is the way you want to go. You pick one of these up in the store and try to copy this onto a base plate like this. Now, you don't have to just use bricks. You can do the whole thing with plate or tile. And instead of having it rolled between them, you can actually get more detail by building narrower track and then the ball rolls along the top of it, like that. So you can fit a more, much more complicated maze um, with, this, with this trick. Should I smile? Yeah. How's this? Okay, so here's, a, here's an idea. You can do this with a ball and with plate or tile instead of using bricks. So instead of the ball rolling between the, the bricks, you roll it on top of the plate. And this is especially difficult because now Got to get it just the right spot to go down the right lane. Maybe a little shake. Oh! But anyways, you see the idea. You build out a whole complicated maze like this one, and boom, you've got mom and dad entertained for hours. Okay, so today we learned about marble mazes built with Lego. Uh, we started off with the most simple, too simple even. And then we talked about uh, some tips and tricks that you can do. So you've got your, um, you gotta have an entrance, an exit point. You gotta maybe cover up some so you don't know what's going on in there. Um, some traps, you've got a ramp trap here, dead ends. And we even went all out and made one, the ultimate challenge. The ultimate challenge. Ultimate challenge. Now, you can get all this stuff at Bricks and Minifix, South Jordan, Salt Lake, and Orem, all three stores have these ready-made kits. Comes with a base plate, comes with a big bag of Lego, and one of those uh, Technic uh, ball, the, the your roll, marble balls that you roll through. Um, they're $35, so this is normally a $40 bag, normally a, a $6 base plate, and then these would come in packs, so we've just got thrown in one, uh, so you can have a full marble maze kit. Pick them up at your store, grab and go, call and pay over the phone if you like. We'll have it ready to pick up when you get here. And that makes it really easy. Have some fun activities to do at home. All right, I'm gonna show you some other examples. Uh, just other mazes that we've had people have created. So you've got this one. This one's got some ramps in use, a little bridge, um, and some of these uh, snot bricks, they call them snot. Stud not on top, okay? Not the other kind. So just cool it, kids. You can get real cute and creative with yours. Decorative, you've got pink and white, and some pink, also some white in there. <laughs> this one's got a little bridge, which is super cool, um, and curved brick too. So if you get some of those in your bag or if you have some of those pieces at home, um, you can also do a little window. So it rolls right through the doorway. Okay, and then one more example. Um, another fun one, white and red. This one's got a different type of trap that you can see here. The ball rolls up a ramp from any of three sides and then it gets stuck. So, super cool examples. Show us your examples. Build something cool, post it, uh, share it with Bricks and Minifigs, and um, we'll see you in the LEGO Masters Challenge. Cut! See you soon!